So biometric technologies are changing quickly. We're seeing a tremendous amount of innovation in private industry, which is providing security benefits, but also providing greater speed, flexibility, and uh, convenience in day-to-day -day operations. Within Homeland Security, we are the biggest and most consistent user of the existing biometrics. For Customs and Border Protection, you know, we operate all the ports of entry in the United States. Uh, a lot of diverse, different environments, land border, seaports, airports, small boats, general aviation, pedestrians, trucks, cars, all kinds of things. Recognizing the common interest between CBP, TSA, and other DHS components, DHS Science and Technology created a new approach, which we call the Biometrics Rally. DHS is running a biometric tech rally where 12 vendors were invited to set up their stuff and let it be tested by individuals and then we get the test data back. Getting test data from an independent source is really, really difficult and really, really expensive. It's easy to test software, you know, like if, if you're Apple, but getting a large number of test subjects to come in and go through your system is actually very difficult, so this is wonderful for us. We're testing some of these technologies in a more realistic scenario, largely because there can be a big difference between claims of performance and real-world tested performance. Third-party verification is like gold. I mean, s and is doing all of the legwork for us to make sure that these algorithms and these technologies and these companies meet certain thresholds so that we can go possibly straight into a procurement or at least streamline our, our procurement process. The work that's going on here um, in Iris and Face we're looking to adopt that kind of technology in our own operations. I, I think that what's happening here is going to take a lot of pressure off the components. I wish we would have used this process uh, more often and looked at a full evaluation based on you know, clear requirements that we've set and that challenge out to the industry to help us solve these types of problems. You know, we cannot take the, the typical government approach of building things in a stovepipe and building things independently. Of course, collaboration is a two-way street. DHS s and and DHS components receive value by seeing, measuring, testing different aspects of performance of these systems. We create value with our industry partners by sharing the data back with them so that they have a chance to improve the technologies, to refine them, and hopefully bring these products to market faster. So we get the actual root reports from DHS Science and Technology. Here we know we're going to get the honest feedback, it failed here, it was good here, and we can then take it back to the laboratory and then we can make, make the swift changes. And you know, an event like this will help us get technologies quicker to market and you know, that is really fantastic for government to be in the business of enabling innovation. By default, we use aliases to identify the company names and company products because we want to allow the company to protect their intellectual property uh, and not diminish their brands. What we wanted to do was encourage innovation but not penalize them for taking risks. I feel like over the 13 years that I've been at TSA, this is one of the first technology rallies that has offered a diverse suite of capabilities for us all to look at in one swoop. It's definitely special and unique.